what's popping YouTube. You already know it's Splash coming through. I know it's been a minute since I did a video, but I appreciate everybody that still comments and still getting those views up there and them subscribers. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right? And spread the word. And I appreciate everybody that does. I love my subscribers. Because, yeah. And people that just watch and comment my videos. Because I respond to each and every one of y'all. Even if you message me. Same thing. Definitely put your request on this video. Click the link. Put any requests, topics, songs you want me to do, remixes, and any songs you want me to dance, hip roll to, anything like that. Because, you know, I'll be teaching how to dug it, teaching, teaching how to dug it. Y'all ain't ready for my dug it. But, anyway, on a serious matter, I'm responding to Shelly Rep's Christ, too. Because... She came at me very respectful. I guess she came across my ex-homosexual video and she decided to message me and send me her testimony and to check it out and things like that. So I decided to and I respect her for everything that she does and I also respect highly of how she came at me very, very respectfully. Did not attack in any way because that's where people, you know, see the religion as being very hypocritical because they always bash gay people then. well not always most get bash gay people and that keeps people stand offish although there are gay churches because every pride you always see the churches that you know have gay ministers and things like that so i commend her for the way she came at me i respect it wholeheartedly and also i think her testimony it it kind of related. I felt I related with a couple of points that she had because we all the same age and, you know, there is that connection there. But I didn't uh, connect with how she got into the lifestyle. I felt like she was, like, forced and pushed into it because she was not that way and people already assumed her that way and then she had other issues with thinking, like, okay... Um, I'm not living up to my sister's standards of beauty because the way she felt comfortable in dressing and, you know, everybody would always say, you know, your sisters are so pretty and things like that. So I feel like she was forced into it as long as she did stay in the lifestyle. I'm not saying she didn't really live it. I think she did live it. It was just she was forced and it was never really for her. And then... You know, she did have her enlightenment with her and her girlfriend, and they both became enlightened and decided to, it wasn't for them anymore. But she doesn't, I don't think she was fully, you know, into Christ at the time. I mean, I've always, I was growing up in the church and things like that, so I'm not saying that, you know, I was not always the way I am. But I wasn't forced into it. It just came with an attraction and I felt more connected to it than any heterosexuality. I don't know if she's heterosexual now because most of them that I see in the ex-homosexual videos, it just more focused on themselves as a being rather than getting into any kind of relationship other than their relationship with God. And I respect that. The only thing that I did not agree with because is of Jackie is because of how she blamed the lifestyle on her sh that caused her stress that caused everything to go wrong in her life and i feel we all go through stresses and things like that and it's not stopping me on my journey to accomplish everything i want to do i've been an honor student all my life through college and it's never once became an issue on lifestyle i feel you can do anything stress is just the way of god testing me that's how i feel he's just testing me like, Splash, you can get through this. Now, I want to see it. So, you better, either you're going, you're going to get over the hurdle or you're going to break. And so far, I have not been broken with any stress. I'm still on my educational journey. I'm still on my business side of journey. And it has nothing to do with me as my lifestyle. So, Shelly, I commend you for your testimony. I'm going to put your testimony right on this video. So that everybody can watch it that watches my videos. Just take a look at it. 
I guess if you feel a type of way, then you can take a her off on that whole retreat thing. I mean, I've been to retreats and everything. I guess I'm not really that emotional attached to my feelings. But that's just a whole nother issue. But that has nothing to do with God or... And even if I did get attached with them, so I think I would still feel comfortable the same way. Because some people do know my whole full story. So, um, I guess that's it. So, Shelly, you can write me back. And I guess put your response in this video. I will tag this to your video so everybody can hear my side of things. And I wish everybody a good day, year. Let's get 2011 started in a couple months or so. And enjoy the heat while we can because winter's probably going to be cold. So I'm out, y'all. Peace.